Okay guys, today I'm going to be explaining why we did this entry here in the income summary. But to begin, I want to go over a little bit of a review about what the income summary account is because this is new for you guys. And um, so I just kind of want to cover why we have the income summary. So I'm going to first start out on this front page, income summary. Income summary is a temporary account. Revenues and sales are a temporary account. Total expenses are a temporary account. A temporary account is accounts used to accumulate information until transferred to the owner's capital account. So I drew out a little demonstration as to maybe why, why we have temporary accounts. So let's say in 2019, we started off with in January with the zero balance. We made $5,000 in sales and $3,000 in expenses. That's about $2,000 for our net income. Okay, this is a fiscal period from January to December, one year fiscal period. So that's a vocab word, fiscal period. And that's the time frame that, fiscal period is the time frame that um, accountants would refer to as like, Here's how far we're measuring our accounting information from. We're going to start in January. We're going to end in December. Most of the time in the textbook, we do one month fiscal period. So at the end of every month, they close out the accounts. Well, for this example, I'm going to say it's a year fiscal period. So let's say in January, as the end of the year of 2019, we can see we made $5,000 in sales, $2,000 in expenses, and we don't close them out. Okay, so what do we start January with? $5,000 in sales and $3,000 in expenses. Well, by the end of December, after we made sales that year, let's say we're at $10,000 in sales and $6,000 in expenses. Well, if we didn't start off the year with zero, does this really represent how much we made in 2020? No, it represents 2019 and 2020. Okay, so we need to zero out. We need to get the revenue expenses and income summary we need to make sure we close those accounts and transfer them to owner's equity so that we can start fresh so we zero them out and january we start with zero and by december it represents let's say we actually made six thousand dollars in sales and again that three thousand dollars in expenses whatever it is so now our information is accurate we can look back at 2020 and see how much we made and how much we spent um this is accounting we want to if you are an accountant you want to organize the business's financial information on sheets of paper so they can look back compare contrast see what they need to do to better their business in the next year the next month whatever it is it's just documenting money that's what accountants do so let's go back to the income summary account in the last video i told us how to journalize everything we close out everything to the income summary to close an account out you do the opposite of its normal balance so revenues normal balance is a credit so we close it out to the debit and then you have to do the opposite side for the income summary. So income summary, 2,160. So let's write that down. Where did I get that from? I got it from the front sheet. Sales started as a credit of 2,160. That's how much money we made in sales, normal balance, revenue, sales, okay? Then we need to close out this account to the income summary account. So we have to do the opposite. So to make the revenue, I'm going to use the black pen for closing entries. To make the revenue zero, we just have to debit the opposite side. Now this gets us to zero. Revenue account is closed out. But this just can't be left out in the blue. You can't just put this number here say, oh, there it is. No, we have to close it to another account, which is the income summary. So we credit that side, 2,160. We do the opposite. This was debited. We credit this. We do the opposite. And that's shown right here, 2,160 
2160 we do the same thing with all the expenses i put in all the expenses and close them out i got those numbers from the front side if their normal balance were debits i close them out to credits so i made all their balances zero i will show you on this page 460 zero six dollars oops that's six dollars zero 125 zero 189 zero 153 zero 550 zero that's what we did here we deb credited my bad we credited all these expenses that's what i'm doing here these were our original t accounts for everything and then i um credited it the total expenses 1484 so how did I find that? I added everything up. Just one side. One side. Added everything up and I found that. So our total expenses, $1,484. And I'm going to write that here. $1,483, my bad. I was saying four. Which is also right here because we had to find our total expenses. We added all those up. You know how to do that. When you do a worksheet, you added all of those up to find your um, total expenses for that period. So now we're at the total expenses, 1,483. These need to be closed out. To the income summary, it's right here. Income summary, income summary, debit. So if I'm closing something out, 1,483. Now that's zero. And this is 1,483, okay? Now, do these two sides balance? No, they don't. So what we have to do is find the difference between them. So if I take 2,160 and I subtract it from this number, I'm going to get 677 as a credit this is the credit side okay again i took 2160 subtracted it from this why did i do that because i need to get the new balance these t accounts constantly are in balance if i had two numbers over here i would add them together because they're on the same side since i have two separate numbers i subtract them does it matter which one you subtract? Can I take this number from this number? Sure, you're going to get negative 677. So if you put negative 677 over here, we don't do that. We don't deal with negatives in T accounts. So if it's a negative, that means it goes over here. This side has more. Clearly, this side has more. So which, which balance is really carrying us forward? This side, the credit. The credit side. Okay, so we have 677. So I'll show you how I did that here. We had to post this information. First thing we did was post the sales. So closing entry, income summary, 2,160 credit. So income summary, 2,160 credit. Those match up, income summary. I posted that there. Then I just carry out my running balance. These are active T accounts. Just like I did here, T account. These are literally that. This, do you see that, is a T account. T account. This is a T account. But you have to read this up here. This says balance. So if this says balance, that means it's a running total T account. You constantly have to do math. This, you just put in numbers here. This balance section is where you actually do the math. If it says balance, it's time for you to do math. So, income summary, we credit it 2,160. We brought out the balance because as of then, there was nothing underneath it. Then, we had the next one. 1,483. I come down here while I was posting. This is where I got that number from. Income summary, 1,483. That's the total of my expenses. 
1,483. Debit, debit. Now it's time to do that math. Just like I showed you over here, 21601483. That's exactly what's going on right here. 21601483. 1483. 2160. Income summary. So I did math. I subtracted this one from this one. This side's bigger, so it's a credit balance of 677, okay? Now the last 677 comes from our journal entry of closing out our income summary account, 677. So now that I've got my 677 here in this balance, I have to close out income summary. So I closed it out by doing the opposite, 677, and I finally got zero to my income summary. I put my income summary in an account capital. I close it out to capital and I do so by crediting it, 677. Why did I credit it? Because I need to do the opposite of this. This was a debit, so I credit. Take it one step at a time. So I just credited income summary to make that balance zero, 677. So now I have this debit of 677, 677, this is that T account. This is the credit, this is the debit. I subtract those and I get zero. So these are just running T accounts and this is the balance that you have to find. Hope that helps. Again, this information is taken from Century 21 Accounting.